Hey everybody, uh, this is the Rev. My name is Reverend Paul T. Southerd. Most of the time, I just go by Paul. Got some stories to tell you tonight. Hope you saw my other video from Venice and my one I shot in my Hollywood office. I'm down here at my friend's house right now. Uh, I'm working on actually internet businesses and I thought I'd do a video. I want to talk to you a little bit about the devil and how I got to be a pastor. I really didn't believe in God several years ago. And I was busy being a contractor. You know, I was doing remodeling contracts. Um, had a bunch of guys working for me. I'd opened a uh, import-export company. It was starting to take off, get successful. I was having a lot of fun. I had a beautiful four-bedroom, three-bath condominium, a brand new truck, two dogs, two cats, a pretty fiance. You know, all the good things in life. And I'd had stuff like that uh, all through my, my growing up years. Until uh, 1987 came around. And my father died. And I got angry over some stuff. And I got involved with uh, a witch. And she said she was a white witch and it wasn't stuff I believed in. But the next thing I knew... I had the Colombian Mafia delivering pounds of cocaine to my house. And we were smoking near a pound a week of this dope. And all of a sudden, odd things started happening. Sorcery books started coming into my hands. Um, I was reading them, um, studying to actually be a sorcerer. The power looked interesting to me. Let's see, what else came into my hands? Witchcraft, spellcasting books. I started reading them. Started having interesting experiences. I also got interested in the Bible about the same time, which I'd never been in my life. I could have cared less about church or Bibles or Jesus or God or salvation. I just, I love my company. I love my money. I, you know, if I needed a new car, I just wrote a check, you know. It, it was nice. But I got into all this uh, kind of strange stuff because I rented a room to this girl and had a thought that uh, maybe I'd be a major drug dealer and I could make it to the top in about three months I had a little previous experience several years be several years before that well with all these books coming into my hand and I start studying this stuff um, guess what spirits started showing up in my house one was gold. It actually glowed. It was a very bizarre experience. Uh, turned the lights in my room purple. Um, it was all over me, but the only way I saw it was in the mirror. I didn't think a lot of it. I thought, what the heck was that? LSD flashback or something? I don't know. I, you know, I just went to work that day and pretended like nothing had happened. Then after the witch moved in, I started seeing another type of spirit. Like black, um, smoke. Almost like you could just put your hand right through it or something, you know, and it was sort of scary. I, I didn't expect it, and I had to um, look away from it three times. I kept shaking my head going, no, I ain't seeing what I'm seeing. And I kind of went to bed that night knowing I'd seen something. Excuse me, and it didn't belong in my, you know, my dining room. You know, I'm laying on the couch, of course there's a witch sleeping on the couch across the room, and there's a demon in my dining room. Now this one wasn't in a mirror, he was right in front of me, about um, 12 feet away. Well, like that's not bad enough, I was managing some apartments and uh, another practicing witch moved into one of, the, one of the units that we, you know, I rented a unit to her. And she was an interesting gal. She turned out to be a drug manufacturer, and she was practicing sorcery. I saw her on video. Her lab fell apart. The cops busted her. The cops took the video. Um, she was, uh, there was a lot of murders around this woman. I mean, it was really an evil thing that she was into, and she even tried to kill me once. 